Oasis ministry has been amazing and I'm blessed to be a part of it. It has impacted my life in a big way. I get to do Bible studies with um, all these other wonderful ladies that are also in the group and get to share our ideas and I get to grow in the relationships with those women along with my relationship with Christ and getting to know both better and I'm just so blessed that I get to be a part of it and I'm so grateful that Bethany and Jennifer went out on a limb for us and did this. Thank you so much ladies. Love you. I'll just say first off it's the fellowship that I that I get in the meetings and even when uh, even on Sundays when I walk in. Um, I've also learned a lot from someone who I always knew the basics. Um, you know, growing up, I'd go to Sunday school and do that kind of thing. But going through, you know, all these studies with everybody and hearing their perspectives and their thoughts on, you know, some of the things that have occurred, they've just really opened my mind um, to just to just the different ideas that's out there. So I appreciate everything. I appreciate Bethany and Jennifer for putting this together and just keeping it going at, even when they have, you know, other ministries they're involved in or, or even their own lives. Um, so I'm very happy to be a part of it and um, see y'all guys on Saturdays. Wow, a whole year with this ministry. It's just amazing how Jen and Beth had a dream, had an idea, and they just ran with it. We started with Zoom, and then we took it into the chapel, and it's just amazing to see how it's grown, how it's blossomed, and how it's impacted the women of this church. I know for me personally, it has created a space where I can come in and just be me. I'm not wife, I'm not mommy, I'm not anything but just Skylar. And I can open up and be honest with who I am and where I'm at with my relationship in Christ. And it has definitely helped me grow my relationship in Christ. And um, so I'm so thankful for Sis Ministry for that. And I can't wait to see what the future is gonna hold. All right, congratulations, one year of Sis. I am so happy to have been there from the very beginning of it. But um, the one thing that this ministry has brought out of me is stepping up and talking to people. Anybody knows me knows that I don't post videos. I don't stand up and speak in front of people, but this past year I have done that numerous times. And it is because of my sisters that have given me the encouragement and the willpower to be able to do it. And I wanna say thank you and I love all you guys. First and foremost, it has brought me closer to God has made my faith so strong and gives me motivation. Um, it, you know, helps push me through learning more and not only about the Bible and about God and, and Jesus, but about myself. Um, and being able to reach people, um, communicate with people that are just like me or have gone through things that I've gone through um, or maybe even helping other people. Um, Sis has given me that opportunity to be involved more in the church, um, be involved in more people's lives, branching out, meeting new friends, um, sisters, <laughs> um, and pushing me out of my comfort zone. How um, CIS has impacted me. I would have to say that CIS has impacted more than just myself. <clears throat> CIS has impacted my entire family. Um, back when CIS was just an idea, um, I let it be known that if a study was started, I would attend because I knew it would be beneficial to my walk to get to know Jesus. I will admit I skipped um, most of the first study because I didn't feel comfortable chatting with a bunch of women I didn't know, talking about a bunch of things I knew nothing about. Um, but I came around and began to realize these were not just a bunch of women I didn't know. They were really just like me. Uh, moms, daughters, sisters who came to do the same as me, to learn about God. I quickly realized this was a place I could be myself. I could ask questions and not feel stupid. 
I could give my input and not feel stupid. Sis has shown me there is a group of women who are there for me. Um, it, Sis has most definitely aided in my knowledge and strengthened my relationship with the Lord. Um, I have become more obedient to the Lord. Uh, my attitude and my language <laughs> has also changed. Um, Sis has helped me feel comfortable with others and trust more. Um, people have seen a change in me and that I am positive would not have happened from only attending Sunday and Wednesday services. I've chosen many times to pursue God, but this last year has really been uh, the time that I have jumped all in. Um, and it's been an amazing ride and I'm so excited to see what more comes of it. And SIS has been a huge part of that. So the first group that I joined and the first place that I really started being consistent in was SIS. And the three things that being a part of SIS has really done for my life are really getting consistent in a Bible study. Um, I would read the Bible sometimes, I would pray sometimes, but there was nothing consistent. So having a study to follow not only helped me put an exact routine together for my own Bible study, but also helped me to get curious and pique my interest in wanting to read the Bible and explore it for myself, which is the first time in my adult life that that ever happened. Um, the second thing that it's really helped me do is increased my reaction in obedience. When I can feel God calling me to do something or tugging me to talk to someone or pray for someone, something like that, um, I'm a lot quicker to react and I'm a lot quicker to obey. And part of that is because it's such a such a strong part of what Bethany teaches and Jen teaches in our group. And then also those, these Bible studies teach that. And when you pursue God and have that kind of relationship, you want nothing more than to obey. So that's Hey everyone, just wanted to get on here and say happy anniversary. Happy first anniversary of the CIS ministry. Um, I started this ministry when we started this book, Looking for Lovely. It's been a hard thing to find these last few years with everything going on, but um, it, it did amazing things for me. Uh, Jennifer and Bethany have, have have done an amazing job with this ministry and getting this group going. It was something that I could count on every two weeks. I knew those ladies would be there for great fellowship, great study. If you're looking to be challenged and grow more in His Word, come see us. It's a great ministry. Happy anniversary, everybody. Three things really stand out for me, and, and particularly in my life, uh, with Sisters Impacting Sisters. Um, I've really gained a lot of strength, and I'm still working on it, uh, with the knowledge and strength of my boundaries. Um, ever since I was a little girl, it, boundaries are hard. I have a huge heart, and um, it affects sometimes. Um, but God has directed me to Sisters Impacting Sisters and, and the church that I'm now with and these boundaries are getting worked on. Um, the second one that I have is no judgment and I'm seeing reflections. Um, and I do, all, all the ladies that share their stories, um, whether we're in the Bible study or, um, online, it's... It's really comforting knowing that I'm not alone um, and no judgment. It's so awesome to be around a group of people that you can be open enough to speak truth. Um, it says importance of connection. And yes, with the pandemic and everything, um, sometimes we're not able to physically be connected, but there was always some some form some way whether it's internet whether it was text messaging whether it, no matter what there's there's a awesome connection um especially with the leaders in this group uh, okay since i started in the uh, sisters impacting sisters last year um i have noticed a huge change all these see these <laughs> all these things that are very small um changed at the same time that i got in the sis group all these small changes i made um impact every 
everyone I meet, strangers, family, um, they, it changes, it's a game changer. It's a game changer. And my, my life is so different than a year ago. So different. And, um, and I have made a lot of good relationships. Um, and in, instantly, like with Faith, I mean, I loved her as soon as I met her. Um, and then we became close and started communicating, you know, not just at the meetings, but, but several people that's, um, Bethany has touched my life in ways that she doesn't even know. Um, the, I started noticing the language and the music change was because of her. It's something she just mentioned, you know, that I take notes and I go back and I look at them and I, I, um, I do them. I, I, I put them faith without works is dead. So I put it into action. So, um, so yeah, Jennifer, she's the reason that uh, I came there. I started crying at church and the pastor uh, called that out in front of everyone and she turned around and invited me. So that's, you know, God's amazing like that and all the glory is his. Um, but all these, all these people and things, um, can change. They, they've changed my life and this, this group is a big part of that. And, um, so I love y'all. Hey guys, it's Bethany and Jennifer. And we're super excited that sis has already met its one year mark. And we are just so overwhelmed with all the videos you ladies have shared about your testimony and how sis has impacted you. It's really awesome to see it is. Um, for me, myself, when we first started this out, Beth brought it to me and said, Hey, you know, let's, let's do a Bible study. We're in the middle of COVID or we're starting out in COVID. Everything's shutting down. We still need to get together. We still need to dig into the word. And what better way to encourage our ladies to do that? And so we started out on Zoom and we did that for a while. Then we were able to start meeting in person and we thought if we're going to meet in person, we want to do it at TLCC, you know? So we went to the little country church. We talked to pastor and, you know, he agreed and said that everything was good. So it's been amazing that we're already in a year. Like we said, we've been through several studies and it's just been incredible just to see how it's impacted you. But for me personally, it's been encouraging. It's been inspiring just to be able to be a vessel of God's word and just to be able to pour into each of you ladies and just not to see the cup overflow into you, but you then overflowing into others. And it's just been amazing to see how that has unfolded. And it's exactly what our vision was for this ministry. We didn't know if this was going to last a month. We didn't know if this was just going to be something just for the season and then it kind of fade out. But here we are a year later and it's stronger than it ever was and it's continuing to be stronger and we're super super excited just to see what the next year is going to unfold and just who's going to come into our ministry you know the the things that are going to happen in your your ladies lives and just what's happening also just not just with your lives but your family's lives and just seeing that just unfold yeah we started out and it was you know i always thought of it as beth and i being sisters um in-laws but as sister-in-laws, you know, we are out there impacting sisters. And it, that's how I thought this was going to end up being. And it turns out after this freeze and all of the sisters that reached out to me during that, it changed the meaning of our name awesome. altogether. It changed from just us impacting, you know, the ladies in the groups to the ladies in the group impacting us, taking our words that we have taught them and throwing them right back in our face and it's it's eye-opening to see the mountains being moved in this ministry and i cannot wait to see what the next year is going to bring super excited about it for sure absolutely and just as some of you mentioned in your videos just that god has been able to stretch some of some of you this year and just get you to speak up and speak out and um do things that were way out of your comfort zone um i always say don't you know, get mad at me. I'm just the messenger. So um, it, if we ask you to do something, it's not to pick on you. It's not to um, just point you out. It's because God has revealed something to us that we see in you. And that, that's what this ministry is about. That's what it's important for us leaders is to, when he's, the spirit speaks to us, is that we reach out to you and we, we connect with you and we get you to stretch. Because for me personally, I don't think I would be here in ministry if it wasn't for that one person or those two people reaching out to me saying, hey, I I want you to do this when in fact I had no idea that I would ever be where I'm at and I just I'm just grateful for those people seeing the potential in me through God's eyes and then just seeing where it is unfolded in my life personally yeah and throughout the year I mean we're always looking for new studies so if you guys have a study that 
you know, you feel like it could impact our lives, mm -hmm. bring it to us. Let's pray on it and let's move on. But we're praying for big things this year. We have a lot on our calendar and a lot on our books that we really want to get dug into. But who knows where this ministry is going to be at and we can't wait to see. Absolutely. And this is a safe zone. This is a, like um, some of you have mentioned in your videos that um, Sisters Impacting Sisters is a place that we can go and we can be real. We can be our, ourselves. We can take off the mask that maybe some of us put on in our daily lives and just be whomever God wants us to be. So like Jen said, if you ever have something on your heart that you want us to talk about or maybe a study that you saw in a, in a store or maybe something you've seen on the internet, Bring it to us because we're open. This is not just me and Jen and it's a ministry. This is a family. This is what we do. And I'm just grateful to see how it has unfolded like that. For sure. So, so we hope that we see you guys coming to visit us. If you haven't, we start our new study May 1st. It's called Get Out of Your Head. Beth's going to send out emails about it again. So if you haven't ordered it, you can get it ordered. We meet every other Saturday starting May 1st. And please, 9 a.m., Little Country Church, you come visit us in the chapel. Hang out with us. These ladies are amazing. The fellowship is great. And let me tell you, the food is on point. We love you, ladies. And uh, we hope to see you soon. Bye. Bye.